Hey guys, it's the Ugly Prospector, Partridge Family Prospecting. We had a video, Megan and I, that uh, we did on our last trip up to uh, the White Mountain National Forest. We did some dredging with a friend of mine from high school. And we didn't get a ton of video of the dredging, but we did get a little bit. And uh, I have been kind of holding on to it and uh, thought to myself, you know, now's the time. Let's, uh, let's get that thing on there. And uh, I'm just uh, going to go ahead and put this out here. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy. We'll talk to you soon.
Hunter about 40, and that's just because of the ski equipment and whatnot. You see the pictures from the inside and the opening intro there. Right You'll see here, the outside right pictures. Right over here is the line for it. It's a pull cable, so it gets pulled up by a big giant cable, and it rides on two other cables. He and his son call it ketchup and mustard because they're yellow and One's yellow, red. one's red. I don't see it. I can't see it, so it must be in its dock right now. But maybe on the way home we'll, we'll catch it. Yeah. We go that way. Who knows with all the COVID stuff. So I so usually if you look close, sometimes there's bear up on there. Almost always there's bear up on there. You'll see little black dots running around. And that's Echo Lake right there. And we're heading into Franconia to visit my mom. Drop off the little terrorist dog. <laughs> that's Echo good. Lake. That's, it's just OB. But we're going to drop off him and he's going to go visit his dad his, and his baby. And we are heading to the camp area after that and going to go set up our stuff and have a three day dredge a thon. And if you look closely, look at all the people up on that little cliff there. That's called uh, Bald Knob. <laughs> it's what it's called. <laughs> it's called Bald Knob. And, uh, all right, so the people are artist, hanging out on Bald Knob. And it's called Artist Bluff. And. Uh, that's a really easy hike. It only takes about 15, 20 minutes tops to get from bottom to top. And uh, it's a great spot to oversee all of the notch and all of that. In case anybody's ever wondering if they're up north, good, good spot to stop. And uh, Cannon Mountain is what I used to work for up here. It's still part of the ski mountain here. Wow. And uh, Echo Lake is busy today. Some of the best skiing in the world right here. Some of the harder skiing. <laughs> A lot of ice. But, go ahead. It's God's country up here. It is God's. I wish this is a, this part's for Stu Easy. I wish that uh, yeah, I had made it right. the rest of the way up and gotten to see what I consider God's country. Um, I know there'll be another time soon. We'll get together and be able to do that. And uh, his his country where he's from is definitely really beautiful out there in New York. Um, Hopefully, but, we get to see a whole bunch of you. But. Um, I, I can't wait to show you guys this stuff because this to me is my hometown. I grew up here and I didn't realize I was standing on rivers full of gold. So I'm trying to come back and get as much of it as I can. <laughs> I'm a late bloomer. I'll we'll catch you all at the river. We'll check out our uh, cabin for the evening or for the next few days, I should say. Alrighty. We are out. Out of here. Yeah, be prosper. so light it just picks itself right up. Oh, damn. It pops right up in the air. That's a World War II. Um, the, the plane pulling that is a World War II trainer. Uh, I forget it's P-52. Gosh, I'm not sure what it is. I'd have to look at the number now, but it's a P, it's a War War II trainer plane. I remember my son went up in that, and then also the he was actually up in that glider um, that's up there as well. A um, lot of big glider community around here in Franconia. Over the river and through the woods. Where Jeremy's foot pedal gets to Mimi's heavier. House we go. <laughs> I grew up on this road. I can drive this road my eyes shut. Every time we make a Wide, certain corner, his, his foot like seems to get heavier. I know and his I'm pedal at. gets, you know, further to the I floor. I have my eyes open turned on this road. This is my mom's house and the land around it. It's gorgeous. It's a farm now. Uh, they raise uh, some kind of Chicken. cattle. They, well, they have all sorts of animals, different animals, but the, but the special uh, steer they have, a special kind of steer. It's a long-haired steer. And, uh, yeah. So yeah. we're here. Hopefully it looks like my son might be home. Yay! And we'll get back to you soon. We'll talk to you guys soon.
there's like blue ribbons. ribbons and stuff on the trees. Yeah, blue ribbons still there. Every time we come through here, you always get the chills. Maybe it's just the knowing that you don't know what happened to her. Well, here we are on the Wild Day Manusik. He's testing out his, um, I don't know how big that is. It's a lot bigger than his biggest pan, but he's giving it a whirl. Get all scuffed up. Get the truck all ready to run. Gotta go have some fun. Get some shiny stuff. A little cabin. And a Daryl. <laughs> so we shall see. So I was doing a close up video of the whole setup here. A little blockage going on. Oh, the stuff go through. Take it out and beat it. It always works. He and uh, Jeff were shooting each other earlier with their sprayers. But this is what it looks like running close up. Pretty cool. Thumbs up the hose, shoots across. We already got quite the tailing pile going on. We've been doing it, I don't know, four hours or so, give or take, brakes don't count, but Jeremy's about, I don't know, a foot and a half or so underneath this big rock right there, and you can't tell the depth, but Jeff's in quite the hole, he, uh, he's been digging away, he beat us to the river this morning, but Jeremy's going to see what we can find under that rock. Longevity <laughs> of the state of New Hampshire <laughs> ball cap that I've worn for I don't know how many years. And I was dredging today and had my mask on and was throwing rocks without looking. And I think I lost my hat forever. So if somebody out there in YouTube land you finds find a new state, state of New Hampshire green hat in the Wild well, Amanuzi. It, it, it was for the state of New Hampshire, working for the state yeah, of New Hampshire. Yeah, it's a employee of the state of New Hampshire hat floating in the Wild well, Amanuzi somewhere. Please take care of it. Please take care and love it. Or send it to... Or send it back. <laughs> yeah, send it back to Keene. Uh, care of Jeremy Partridge. Jeremy Prospecting. Partridge Family Prospecting. I could even say it. <laughs> I got tongue twisted. Did, was that on record the whole time? The whole time? Yeah. Was? This is our final day of our getaway. Jeremy's dredging in a hole. Jeff is popping up a little bit right there. Daryl, do what Daryl does. Supervising. Like some dark stuff. 